Hey everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Ankit Math Magics and this YouTube channel is all about the preparation for the GMAT exam, the SAT exam and the GRE exam. Uh, so if you are a student, an aspiring student who is planning to pursue his studies in some of the most premier institutes of the world like the Oxford University, the Harvard University and the Cambridge University uh, to speak as well as to speak then you should really focus on these kind of problems. So basically this video is for the students who are primarily preparing for the SET exams that is the SAT uh, for admissions across the world. Uh, and this particular question is based on the exponential uh, algebra. So this is a really interesting exponential problem where we'll have to solve this entire problem using the concepts of exponents and powers. Uh, so let's begin the solution. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and share this video with your friends if you really like it. So the very first property of exponents and powers is that if we have a situation where a raised to the power b plus c is given, then this can be written as a raised to the power b multiplied by a raised to the power of c. So that means if we have a base number and in power we have an addition of two numbers, then these two numbers can be separated in this format where we keep the base same, keep a multiplication sign and then raise individual powers onto the same base. The second formula is that if a raised to the power b minus c is one of the conditions, then this can be written as a raised to the power b divided by a raised to the power of c. So as you can make out whenever we have an addition of powers, it can be bifurcated into a product form and whenever we have a difference or a minus sign in between the powers, then this can be written in a division kind of a format. The third formula is quite interesting because if I say that we have a situation or a number where a is raised to the power b and then I kind of put this bracket and place another bracket power like this, then these two powers can be multiplied and the overall result would be a raised to the power of b c. And the last and important property is that if a raised to the power b is equal to a raised to the power c, then if bases are same, this is only possible when the powers are equal. Or in other words, the powers can be equated. So these are the four fundamental properties of exponents and powers. And now we are going to use these four properties as per our situation in the given question uh, where we have to kind of solve and simplify this expression. So first of all, let me write the question once again. So this is 27 raised to the power n by 3 multiplied by 8 raised to the power minus of n by 6 divided by 162 raised to the power of minus n by 2. So the thing is that in order to apply all these properties, the very first thing that you have to do is break down each number into its prime factors. So basically 27 for example can be written as 3 cubes so in place of 27 let me write this as 3 raised to the power 3 and the outer power remains intact so this is n by 3. This is then multiplied by 8 now 8 can basically be written as 2 raised to the power of 3 and this would be minus of n by 6. This is then divided by 162 so if you kind of factorize 162 and let me pre prepare the uh, prime factorization table so this would be 2 times 81 this would be 3 times 27 and then this would be 3 times and 3 times so basically 162 can be written let me put this inside a bracket as part of rough work so 162 can be written as 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 1 2 3 4 so let me write this as 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of 4 to the power. The power here is minus of n by 2. So let me write this as minus of n by 2. Now let us separate the power. So this can be written as 3 raised to the power 3 multiplied by n by 3 multiplied by 2 to raised to the power 3 multiplied by minus of n by 6. And now this can be written as 2 raised to the power of minus n by 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of 4 multiplied by minus of n by 2. So as you can see, I have basically diluted down every single power using the properties. Let me cancel this 3 by this 3. This will be 3 to the 6 and then we'll have 2 times of 4. So all we are left with is 3 raised to the power n in the numerator multiplied by 2 raised to the power minus of n by 2 
this is then divided by 2 raised to the power minus of n by 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of minus 2n. So as you can see, we can cancel out these two numbers right here and using the base change property, this can be written as 3 raised to the power n multiplied by 3 raised to the power of 2n which can then be added. So this is 3 raised to the power 3n or in short, I can say that this is basically 27 to the power of n. So this my friend right here is the final answer to this particular problem. I hope that this video was informative enough and for more such videos on GMAT, SAT and GRD preparation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll meet soon. Thank you so much for watching.